Laurel Hubbard is happy to return to a life of anonymity after fulfilling her dreams of competing in an Olympic Games. Despite bowing out of the plus 87 kilograms weightlifting division in last place, but despite her wishes to fade away, the International Olympic Committee (IOC) has announced it will make a rule change for future transgender qualifications after Hubbard's precedent-setting appearance. The push towards each individual sport setting their own rules is one of the likely outcomes in a bid to move away from the current one-size-fits-all approach. Hubbard was able to qualify because her testosterone levels fell below the IOC's 10 nanomoles per liter threshold. Hubbard was the subject of intense criticism after her inclusion in the Games was announced, particularly given she'd successfully competed in male weightlifting competitions during her teens and early 20s. Hubbard said she understood the debate and thanked the IOC for opening the door for trans inclusion in elite sport. The guidelines which allowed Hubbard to compete alongside women were established in 2015 by the IOC and adopted by the International Weightlifting Federation IWF. They are that the current testosterone-related rules were too lenient and that one set of guidelines should not apply to dozens of different sports. Dr. Myron Genel a Yale endocrinologist who has studied the topic and consulted with the IOC for two decades, told Yahoo Sports that the threshold was too high, because it was set based on old data, and not on the most sophisticated ways of measuring testosterone. Dr. Genel said, the difference between male and female performance varies from sport to sport. The IOC currently allows each international sports federation to set its own rules for each sport.